All right, so got me a new hard drive for the Xbox Series X. We're going to talk more about that specific statement in a moment to clarify because when I was looking at this online, I couldn't help but notice some of the reviews mentioning that it does not hold the it doesn't work like the internal storage options for the Series X. And no, it says pretty clearly right on the storefront that it works with all generations of Xbox One and obviously anything before the Series X did not have the super fast storage options. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about the reason why I chose this instead of one of those because they're roughly about the same price towards the end of the video. So I'll just take you through the store page here for a second just to kind of see you know what's going on with it um check out some of those reviews like i was talking about this is completely useless this does not support xbox series x games you can download them but they want to be moved to the internal storage of the series x to play it does not work with the xbox s it says it is too slow for it to run games and then you got you know obviously there are some people willing to read and understand what this drive is actually for um, as you can see in this this uh, review here and then so that's an eight terabyte drive and your other option if you want to get an internal expansion slot or expan expansion drive is a one terabyte for about the same price so uh, it's tough because it's like the 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 expansion is very nice and I would say a big part of it is going to rely on your internet and like I said we'll talk more about that towards the end of the video but for right now we'll just get to the unboxing so I've got my trusty little kind of custom utility knife that I use for basically everything that I ever open because I like it and I am doing my voiceover muting out um, the actual unboxing part because I've got three kids and they're crazy <laughs> so it's hard for me to actually get the nice like plastic crinkles and tears and peels and stuff that everyone wants to hear in an unboxing video it's just not gonna happen on my channel sorry I hate to say it um, just ain't gonna happen unless you know they managed to actually go to sleep but that all three at the same time doesn't really tend to happen anyway here we've got the uh, the drive and uh, code for one month of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate I'm not sure what to do with that quite yet I'll stare at that for a ridiculously long time for some reason and I've mentioned this in other videos, but in case you're new and this video's brought you in for some reason or something, I record this on my phone and its autofocus is terrible. It does whatever it wants to do and it is mounted via this like spring boom arm thing to the back of a like cheap plastic fold up table thing that I have because most of my stuff is cheap and jank. Just kind of how it works. You'll see that if you watch the next video I put out for sure. <laughs> anyway, in here we've got an accessory packet. And in that we've got a wall adapter. Or as a, a certain tech channel that I like to watch calls them wall warts. I like that name. Uh, it does need to be plugged in to power the hard drive. Which I guess in a way is good. It's not pulling power from your Xbox all the time which uh, from experience can tend to burn out the uh, old power bricks on your other Xboxes. Uh, yeah, so it's good that they plug into the, to the wall, I guess, but they do take up more space. And this comes with a bunch of, like, I guess I could call them universal adapters. Um, different plug styles that you can slot onto it to uh, make it 
well, I guess universal to use it in any country or whatever. It took me a second here without, because who reads instructions, figure out how to uh, put that on. It's pretty simple. And uh, I do not show me setting this up to my Xbox just because it's a wired up mess of all kinds of mess and everything behind the entertainment center that we have. So, yeah, I didn't even want to try to film that. So here's the drive. It uses the pretty standard, like if you've got any normal external um, drives that uses the same kind of cable as that. I don't know what those are called. And it's supposed to let you get a USB and USB-C pass-through on the front of it. But as you saw at the start of the video, I've got mine crammed in an entertainment center. It's barely got enough room for anything anyway. So, this is part of the other video coming up as far as these upgrades go. I have... A ton of games installed and three and a half terabytes free I've mm, probably not quite as much now because I did have a few in the key there qui qui key um, yeah trying to get as much as installed as I can and that's the reason why I went with the eight terabyte over the one terabyte and that reason is that my internet sucks so let's check that out just to prove it to you and that's none of your business Five, twenty-one, twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. More none your business. So I've got other things going when I recorded that, but seventeen point two nine not the best internet. So downloading a hundred gigs worth of games can take forever. Check out the links in the description for other stuff, and remember to be safe and be good. Hope to catch you in the next one.